Clickers. My name is Maria Shandorova and I am a Head of Product Development at Infinity. Welcome to Technical Tuesday videos. In this video, I will show you different possibilities how you can use a drop-down menu which informs ClickSense input extension. I have here a demo application about marketing data and uh, let's say I want to add uh, information about the main product to each campaign. So first I need to go to edit mode and add a new field to this forms object. Very simply, I will add a new field with name, let's say, main product. Okay. Move it, move it there. And as I said, I want it to be a drop-down menu. So I very simply select uh, type, select box, or a drop-down menu. As is written here, uh, the way how the values should be defined is that they need to be written as text and separated by uh, semicolon. So this leads to three different possibilities how you can define these values within the drop-down menu and many others when you combine them. Obviously, first one is to write it. A, B, C. Now I can choose main product A, B or C. In this application, I have already information about campaign main products that are loaded in data model. So I can also use a field from data model. So let's do it. So I can concat campaign main product and separate the values by using a semicolon. And guess what? It's not what I wanted. <laughs> because I need to uh, load distinct values when I concat this. And a uh, simple way how to do it is to adhere the word distinct. And now I have in this drop-down menu exactly same values as I already have loaded within my data model. And the third way, how you can bring your user's possibility to define new values for the drop-down menu is to use variable. I think you already noticed that I really like the possibilities of ClickSense when using variables for different use cases. And this is one of them, so I will show you how. Okay, let's create variable input and new variable, new product. Okay, let's create it. One more time to have the variable here. Okay, we product. And it is going to be input box because I want my users to define their own products. Add your products. Very important information for the end user. And now I will use this variable in the expression that define the drop-down menu. So I can, for example, add it here. So what do you think will be the result? As you can see, I forgot the one separator here and I will modify it to very simple. As 
and now it really does what I wanted. I can very simply define a new product without editing the app. That means that also analyzer users will be able to do it. And I think it could be uh, quite important for them in some use cases. Thanks for watching and enjoy forms.